So what can you learn about business from Arnold Schwarzenegger? That's today. I'm Scott McCain. As we look forward to the release of my new book, All Business is Still Show Business. Here's the next in our series of business lessons I learned from Hollywood celebrities. And this one's a little bit different because I didn't meet Arnold Schwarzenegger through my work as a movie reviewer. Instead, it was as a speaker. After I had the chance to speak and MC at an event where Arnold was in the audience, he asked me to be the speaker in the Master of Ceremonies at the Great American Workout held on the White House lawn. It was an incredible experience to get a chance to speak in front of the President of the United States and many others, but it was kind of intimidating to have the Terminator right behind me as I'm delivering my remarks. Well, during the run-up to that program as we were planning and preparing, I asked Arnold Schwarzenegger to tell me something that most people wouldn't know about his illustrious career. Now look, I know in more recent times, Arnold has run into some challenges of his own making, yet when you think about his total career, from coming to the United States as an immigrant, becoming the greatest bodybuilder in history, becoming the number one movie star in the world, becoming the governor of one of our most populous and progressive states, it's, it's a pretty incredible life. So, before all of that came down, Arnold told me, he said, what most people don't know is I was a millionaire before I made my first movie. See, I, I made money through bodybuilding and then through the sale of supplements that I was involved in. And then I leveraged that money into buying California real estate. And I continued to earn and make money. And I had a million dollars saved up. I was a millionaire before I made my first movie. I never heard that before. And I said, wow, with all that money, why did you continue to go into acting? He said, that was always the goal. But he said, as I studied performing, as I studied actors, I found that after they got a little bit of notoriety and started making a little bit of money, they became so used to that lifestyle that they would take roles that would perhaps damage their career or certainly wouldn't help their career progress, but they needed to take the role because they needed to get the cash to maintain the lifestyle that they were fast becoming accustomed to. He said, I decided the most powerful thing I can do is to have the ability to say no. Well, isn't that true in business? Sometimes the best deals we make are the deals that we don't make. Having the ability to be able to say no, but not only that, here's the thing I really learned. It's how much have you researched? How much do you know before you begin an endeavor? Have you researched it enough to know what the pitfalls might be so you can prepare for those in advance? Hey, All Business is still show business. The book is coming up. Check us out on allbusinessisshowbusiness.com. You can sign up for all the freebies that we've got and other things that are coming down the pike as the book is being released. I'll be back with more of what I've learned from celebrities because all business is still show business.